Hey foodie friends, I'm in the kitchen today. It is that time of year where everybody is making fudge and all sorts of other sweet treats. We're baking a lot, probably more this year than any other years because there's nothing else to do but stay home. And the number one question I get is about making fudge and um, other types of candies. So even I make mistakes in the kitchen and fudge and melting candies is probably one of the most temperamental things that you can possibly make. I want you to know you're not alone. So today I'm making a Christmas crack. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's saltines and toffee or saltines or I'm using Ritz crackers on the bottom and then a toffee layer and chocolate on top with some sea salt. It's really simple, but the toffee portion is actually really challenging. So here's mine and it's coming together. So the two things that people mess up the most is to not stir it constantly. You want to keep stirring it until it reaches a certain stage where it's starting to come together and then you actually want to stop stirring it and just let it simmer. You want to make sure you are using a candy thermometer. Don't just wing it. I can't figure that out. No professional chef figures it out. Any professional pastry chef has one on their apron or the lapel someplace. Use a candy thermometer to make sure you get the right temperature and make sure that the tip doesn't touch the bottom of the pan. The bottom of the pan is going to be way hotter than the coffee, the coffee, the toffee. I need more coffee mixture that's in it. So make sure you do that and make sure that it's not touching the bottom of the pan so you get the right temperature. So the trick here is to make sure that all of your sugar dissolves. So if you're stirring it and it feels gritty and gross, no go. And that means that it's definitely not ready yet. And you need to evaporate out water. This is why a lot of fudges don't set. They don't reach the right temperature to have the water from the butter and the sugar evaporate out so that it can form a solid when it actually settles. So make sure you follow the instructions. Make sure you get it to the right temperature. Make sure it's not gritty because nobody wants a gritty, crunchy fudge or toffee. And make sure that you evaporate out a lot of the water. And a part of that can also be using a really good butter or cream if you're using it. Different butters and different grades of butters have different amounts of water in them. A cheaper butter has more water, so it might take more time for it to evaporate out. And you might not even realize it until the product is finished and then you're just upset because your toffee didn't set and that's never fun. But I've been there. You can always make it again. At least the uh, ingredients are simple. And once you find a fudge recipe or a toffee or a Christmas crack that you really enjoy, things get a lot easier because you start to figure it out and you start to know exactly what works and what doesn't work. So as you can see here, mine's starting to come together. I'm gonna stop stirring it because I can feel that the sugar is starting to dissolve. So happy fudge making, happy toffee making, and happy holidays.